Full Scope Satellite Network. All right. He's the host of uh, Fox Sports Radio's The Odd Couple. Now get this. He's also teaching sports talk as some sort of professor at USC. What, a kindergarten? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, apparently these are grown adults. So oh. that leads to our first question. What the f- can you possibly be teaching these kids? Poor kids. Are you kidding? I'm, I'm a guy who's been doing this for decades now. I yeah, have and you're knowledge. totally out of touch, but okay. Yeah, go, yeah, you've been duping people for decades. I, what? I have knowledge. I have information. I'm what the kids, you know, I'm hip. I'm alive. It's what the kids are looking oh. for. I'm that guy. Man, they'd be, I'd be running out of the classroom if I was there. Give yeah. us an example. We want an example. Some free education. Please, yeah, what are, what are you teaching these teaching kids? Them? Yeah, yeah, like give us I'm a lesson plan. How to do a good podcast. What you want to do. And I don't know if you guys nope. have taken, right. you need to maybe take this class to uh, help your oh. podcast. Just we say, got a PhD in podcasts. Yeah. What do you teach them though? Like what's a lesson? Give me a lesson. Here's a lesson. What you want to do when you're doing these shows is you want to be fun and informative. It, it's good. You got to be fun. Well, if you're what do you know fun, about being informative? Nothing. What? I'm helping. People are paying for this? Have yeah. they sued you yet? Uh, no, I have not been sued. What do you think? This is Trump University? No, I have not been sued. That is a privileged institution that helped at least four people. Yeah, so exactly. But there's one quick question for you. You know, you're, you're telling these kids to get into sports talk. You know, Tony and I, we were talking earlier in the show. There are already way too many sports podcasts, Rob. Who needs Absolutely. that many? Don't you think we should start limiting the number to like, you know, three no, there shouldn't be a limit. I mean, people will weed out the bad ones. What they do is the people who love the good ones, if you have good content. This is a free market That's, society. Why don't which we I can't figure out why you're still employed based on yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. It's only been 37 years I've been doing this type of sports yeah, media. Guess, you know, Papo just must have left the radio on and forgot to turn it off or something. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. That's, All right, let's see. Why. All right, Professor, let's get into it. Let's talk about Trey Lance, obviously, you know, traded from the 49ers to the Cowboys. Yep. You know, a lot of people are saying, you know, Trey Lance is a bust, but that's not fair. You know, it's clearly because the 49ers it's were their too, fault. Yeah, they were too good a team. They yep. made him look bad. See, what he needed to be, he needed to be on a team with shit players, right? Yep. Don't you think that's why the Cowboys are a better fit because they're so shitty? I, you know what? I think Trey Lance didn't even get a real fair shot. I don't know. I mean, what what did he do? We played five games. Yeah. I mean, the 49ers, they have good players. We know that. And the Cowboys, we know, aren't as good. They haven't been what if they haven't been to an NFC Championship game since 1995? Yep. They've been awful because Jerry Jones is running the organization like a mom and pop store. That's why the Eagles are popular or good because they're in a division with a bad team like the Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you see, sure. he was he was yeah. on the right yeah, track yeah, yeah. and then he went off the rails at the end there. That, you were like was, 70% there. Don't you think, uh, Trey Lance, you know, he, the people are saying he's a bust, right? Because he only completed 55% of his passes. But, you know, you're old enough to remember Terry Bradshaw. 52%. Joe yep. Namath, barely yep. 50%. You know, Trent Dilfer, he, he barely, he didn't even complete one pass. Don't you yeah. think people are focusing too much on these useless stats? Yes, it is too many useless stats. All the stat geeks with the pocket pen protectors and all these guys who have never even played ball are the guys that these owners have now hired. I, I agree. Finally, we agree on something. Enough with all the geeks. It's about winning. It's about getting the yeah. job done. Yeah, and there you go. Landis, let's just be fair. He played five games in the NFL. That's a cup of coffee and a sweet roll in the real world. That's nothing. Yeah. See, you know, this is all right. This is good. I like. Finally. This is, I hope you teach your kids this at the schools. You know, don't yeah. focus on the stats like a nerd. Just talk from your gut. OK. You know, yeah. Tony, tell them the other take you had about why Trey Lance is going to be a success in Dallas. Listen to this, Professor. Yeah. You got to see things differently here, Professor. Think about it. The only good Cowboys quarterbacks this century had four letter first names that start with T and end with Y. Troy, Tony, and now Trey. Don't you think that shows that Trey rather than Dak is a better fit in Dallas? 
so smart. Is that what you're basing it on? The, the first name of a quarterback? Are we serious? I mean, yeah, the patterns is upset. What's oh, that? It's just a coincidence. It a coinky dink. It don't have anything to do with whether or not he's going to be successful in Dallas. Mr. I mean, uh, Troy didn't dink. start off great, yeah. right? But he wound up being great. Uh, Tony couldn't uh, hold down an extra point and win a playoff game. Uh, so I don't know about how successful he was in Dallas. He, you know, and he's jealous, Trey. Tony. He's jealous that he, he is. didn't come up with that. because He his, doesn't his, see his the patterns. Are probably Rob. watching this and realizing they, they were never taught how you do journalism here. So yeah. you're, telling me that if, you're telling me that if Tony, if, if Tiny Tim played for the team, you would include him as well? Well, no, because Tiny isn't his first name. Tim was his first name. So there's you don't the get difference. It. You don't so see not, the pattern. You're not listening yeah. and processing. Rob, try, process this here. Look at the Eagles. Their yep. last three quarterbacks have all had five-letter last names that are one syllable. Wentz, yep. Foles, Hurts. And look at the results. They all got to Super Bowls. Super Bowls. Oh, and that is the reason why it's not about the receivers or the running game or the defense or quarterback play. It's about wordplay and names. Is that where we are? He just, I mean, he just what doesn't know. He can't. He can't you know, we're blowing you know, his mind. He yeah. can't wrap his head around it. You, That's the problem. Obviously, this is too much this for you. This is troubling. Right, if I'm well, USC, right. this is very wants, troubling. I get it, Tony. I get it, Tony. You want to talk more X's and O's and show off your knowledge. Okay. Right, we'll do that. We can do that, too. Here you go. All right. You know, the other day was NFL cut day. A lot of big moves, Rob. A lot of headlines. So we're going to go down the list and get your opinion on several of these key moves. So let's just yep. dive right in here. First, big news out of Pittsburgh, as I'm sure you saw. Tight end Zach Gentry released by the Steelers. Wow. Your thoughts? Oh, go ahead. What? Okay, what happened? I said... What, what what just happened there? Is, 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 are we on with Mitch McConnell? Hold on. No, look... Uh, Hey, look, big news out of Pittsburgh. Okay, we know you're getting up there. We'll try again. Big news out of Pittsburgh. Tight end Zach Gentry released by the Steelers. Okay, your and thoughts. what is that supposed to mean? Does that mean the Steelers season is over? Your thoughts. Your, your thoughts. This is how our interview guest segment works. This is when you talk. I, you, you're supposed I to know that no as thoughts. a so-called professor. I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that that's going to alter – uh, where Pittsburgh's going or oh, what they're nah, doing. You're supposed Next to be play. a professor. You're supposed you want to, to give know me this a, stuff. Give me somebody who really matters. Tony, and Tony, just explain to him quickly. Are you kidding me? He was a 2019 fifth-round pick out of Michigan. Yeah. They re-signed him in the spring, and he was on the field for 50% of Pittsburgh snaps last season. He didn't this know is going to totally right, alter the one. season. He wants another one. Okay, here you Okay, go. fine. All right. The Bears... This is a big news out of Chicago. The Bears cut cornerback Kendall Vildor. Your thoughts? I tried to read, but I couldn't without my Kindle. But other than that, I, another one. I just don't understand, like, how you that know, you're, you're a sports dog professor. Up. You don't know the first thing about football. What don't you understand? He went to Georgia Southern. Yeah, he was he picked in the fifth he, round yeah, in 2020. He got his first this guy interception last year against the Vikings. Exactly. Right, not going well for you. You're not looking good here. All right, let's no. Nope. We'll try 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 another one. Try one more. Long snapper Trent Sieg was released by the Cowboys. Huge move here. Your thoughts. Trent Sieg, I'd rather have Bob Seeger. I mean, what 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 are we talking here? A long snapper? These are That's the kind of change? modern references that have kept you in the business for so long. <laughs> Who's next? Glenn Campbell? <laughs> this is what he teaches these kids. Oh, just uh, go compare Joe Burrow to Mark and Mindy. I'm giving them context to the life that we live. Right. You going to reference the Carol Burnett no show next? You want, you want context? I'll give you context. Yeah. You on this show, you suck. You yeah. should be out of context. Guess what? So guess you what? didn't make the 53 main roster on this show. You're off the show. You're off Get the show. Guess what? No tenure for you, professor. You're off the show. See you later. Get out of here. So satellite. Is he off the line?